Pterodactyls, my name is Sam, and today I'm going to be talking all about, well, a whole bunch of different things, because today's topic is randomised, baby! Yes, over 100 facts about all manner of different things, ranging from high-speed car chases and mythological squirrels, all the way to anti-incest apps and vengeful Finnish pizzas. Basically, it's the 101 fact equivalent to a box of chocolates. You never know what you're gonna get. Well, unless you look at that little menu that comes with them, but that's not the point, okay? Stop your sass. Would which have to shave are big cats obsessed with? Why did Vikings feed their wounded warriors onion soup? And what's the best way to get red wine stains out of a man-sized Wonder Woman costume? Asking for a friend who's also called Sam. Oh, I don't know. Anyway, two out of three of those questions are going to be answered, so sit back, make yourself comfortable, and let the randomness wash over you like a lava as we explore 101 facts about anything and everything, I guess. Number one. Back in feudal Japan, wealthy lords deliberately built their homes with squeaky floors, known as nightingale floors, in order to make it more difficult for ninjas to walk in and, you know, kill them. The way I stop ninjas from killing me is by living in the 21st century, and it seems to do the trick. Number two. Honey is the only food product that never goes bad. Honey that was buried with the pharaohs in ancient Egypt is still pretty safe to eat. Number three. In the 1830s, ketchup was sold as medicine. Who knows what for? I mean, presumably it was a cure for not having gloriously tomatoey chips. And yes, I said chips, not fries in America, you know, France. Number four. A second is called a second simply because it's the second division of the hour by 60, the first division being a minute. This begs the question of why minutes aren't called firsts, but hey, I don't make the time rules, I just follow them. Number five. The US state of Wyoming only has two sets of escalators. I'll admit it, I genuinely thought this was the internet having me on, but apparently it's true. The state is so rural and flat and with such an abundance of open space that buildings tend to be built out rather than up. And any buildings that do have more than one story are serviced by stairs and lifts. Number six. Antarctica is actually the largest desert in the world, not the Sahara, and no, I'm not having a stroke. This is because deserts are actually areas with very little moisture, and everything in Antarctica is frozen solid, so there is no moisture there. Number seven. There's enough sperm in one single man to impregnate every woman on Earth. <laughs> yeah, that's right, ladies. Ugh, oh, that sounded way less gross in my head. Number eight. You may think the famous hashtag that all the kids are using these days is apparently called a pound sign. Well, there's actually an even older term for it. Apparently, the hashtag scientific name is the octothrope, also known as the octotroph. Number nine. You know the brand of rum named Captain Morgan? My God, my of course you do, you stinking drunk. Well, there actually was a real-life Captain Morgan. He was a Welsh pirate who later became the Lieutenant Governor of Jamaica. Oh, he made something for himself, that's nice. Number 10. The Vatican Bank is the only bank in the world that enables ATM users to carry out transactions in Latin. It also allows you to get an account summary chiseled in a slab of marble. <laughs> okay, that one isn't true. Can you imagine? Number 11. It's a bird! It's a plane! It's a... snowflake? Yes, the largest ever recorded snowflake fell in Keogh, Montana in 1887, measuring 15 inches wide, which is in fact larger than some birds, but most planes are, hopefully, larger than 15 inches. Number 12. In 1386, a pig in France, now known as the Sow of the Mace, was dressed in human clothing, tried in court, and publicly executed by hanging. Oh, come on guys, that seems a little extreme. What does a little piggy do? Well, it killed a child by eating its face. Yeah, that'll make one hang a pig. Number 13. The scientific name for the Western Lowland Gorilla is Gorilla Gorilla Gorilla. This fact is of particular significance to me because, well, my full name is Sam Sam Sam. I thought I was 51. Number 14. In 2012, a British man became so fed up with cold callers bothering him that he changed his name to Tim P -p 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 Price. His logic is that potential callers would see his name or whatever list he's on and think, nah, sod that. Number 15. The average person will produce enough saliva over the course of their lifetime to fill two full-size swimming pools. A total over piece of information that fact replaced in your brain wasn't very important. Number 16. There are five temples in the Japanese city of Kyoto that have ceilings covered in bloody footprints. The ceilings are made by the floorboards of a castle where a group of samurai warriors killed themselves rather than be killed or captured by enemy forces who are quickly closing in. Most of the bloodstains appear to be fairly amorphous marks, but you will find the occasional bloody footprint if you look hard enough, you little suppose. Wow. 
Number 17. The planet of Saturn is so low in density that it could float in water. Assuming you can find a big enough bucket to hold it in, hypothetically. In reality, if you did have a bucket big enough in which to dunk the entire planet of Saturn, its huge atmosphere would dissipate and its rocky core would likely sink. Yes, that's right. Shockingly, Saturn cannot exist as it does now while immersed entirely in water. Number 18. Larry Page and Sergey Brin once offered to sell Google to the web company Excite for less than $1 million in 1999. But the morons over at Excite turned them down. Google is now worth several hundred billion dollars. <laughs> Silly Excite, let's get more excited for things like this. Number 19. There's an opera house located on the US-Canada border where the stage is in one country and about half the audience is in the other. That customs there is an absolute nightmare. Number 20. For every human scurrying around on Earth, there are roughly 1.6 million ants, numbering somewhere around 100 trillion ants. Isn't that cool? Kind of gross, but cool. Number 21. Speaking of ants, by the way, in what is possibly one of the strangest experiments ever conducted, a group of German scientists once attached individual pig hairs to the legs of ants that act as stilts, in order to see whether or not they could find their home by counting their steps. The ants with stilts did in fact overshoot their nest by roughly 50% as a result, proving that tiny animals use some form of internal pedometer to find their way home. Number 22. <laughs> More than one million coins are thrown into Rome's crabby fountain every year. The money is regularly collected and used to fund supermarkets for the poor and needy. Number 23. When Britain changed the packaging with standard paracetamol from bottles to blister packets, deaths from intentional overdoses fell by a whopping 43%. This is presumably because anyone who wanted to off themselves would have to laboriously push each pill out of the packet one at a time, rather than simply pouring them all out onto a single counter. And it's all thanks to the miracle of profound human laziness, which saves lives. Number 24. In Norse mythology, there's a squirrel named Ratatoskia, who exists solely to carry insulting messages back and forth between a great eagle and a dragon at opposite ends of the mythical world tree known as Yggdrasil. Ratatoskia is a nosy b sitting in the sea and staring at the top. Number 25. For a period in 1913, Adolf Hitler, Joseph Stalin, Leon Trotsky, Joseph Rostito, and Sigmund Freud all lived within two square miles of each other in the Austrian capital of Vienna. But it was non-stop parties there. Number 26. Looking around the animal kingdom, it can sometimes feel like humans don't really have any special abilities like a lot of animals have. We can't fly, we're not venomous, or some people are. We can't run particularly fast. Where's our cool animal superpower? Well, apart from being uber intelligent, for the most part, humanity is gifted with the power of endurance. Over a long enough distance, no animal can outrun a well-trained human. We use this to our advantage, where we would just chase animals for hours and hours on end until they simply died of exhaustion. Number 27. In 2008, then Italian Prime Minister Silvio Berlusconi sparked controversy when he complained about Finnish cuisine, saying he had to endure it, and made snide remarks about marinated reindeer, a delicacy to win in some areas of Finland. In response, a Finnish pizza restaurant called Cotti Pizza created the Pizza Berlusconi, a delectable pizza topped with tomato, cheese, chanterelle, red onion, and of course, reindeer. With their creation, the Finns entered America's Plate International Pizza Contest and came in first place, pushing the Italian-American squad into second. Oh, what's the finish for fun? Number 28. In October 1994, Forrest Gump, Pulp Fiction, The Short End Redemption, Jurassic Park, and The Lion King were all in theaters at the same time. Number 29. According to experts, tigers, jaguars, and leopards absolutely love the scent of Calvin Klein's obsession for men. In fact, they are so enamored with the fragrance that wildlife photographers often use it to lure big cats out into the open to get a good photo of them. Number 30. When Harrison Ford starred in A New Hope, the first installment of the iconic original Star Wars trilogy, he was paid the not exactly princely sum of $10,000. However, Harrison's pay for his role in The Force Awakens, the first installment of the Star Wars sequel trilogy, was a very princely indeed $20 million. Number 31. In 2013, a Norway-based developer named Peter Swarovski created a phone app called Send Me to Heaven, ostensibly a sports game which it involves throwing one's mobile phone as high in the air as you can. Swarovski said he literally made it with the hope of destroying as many smartphones as possible, which is probably why Apple promptly banned it from the App Store. Number 32. The spot which you may have assumed, rice doesn't actually need to grow while submerged in water. But since it can survive being cultivated in this way, rice is grown underwater to control weeds and other pests, which means more delicious rice. Number 33. In order to measure gravitational anomalies, NASA has two satellites chasing each other around the Earth, 
tracking the distance between themselves. These satellites are nicknamed Tom and Jerry. Number 34. Between the late 80s and early 90s, I was born, but enough about that. Former Ukrainian pole vaulter Sergei Bubka repeatedly and deliberately broke his own pole vault world record by slim amounts so he could cash in on the $100,000 world record bonus every time. Over the span of two years, he broke his own world record 14 times. Number 35. When Viking warriors were wounded in battle, they were given strong onion soup to eat. This wasn't because the Vikings worshipped the onion as an all-powerful, all-healing elixir, but simply to test whether a soldier was done for or not. If an oniony scent could be detected coming from the wound a few minutes after eating the concoction, this indicated that the stomach had been perforated and death was pretty much inevitable, allowing them to save their medicine for those who actually had a chance of surviving. Number 36. One of the 13 articles in the 1781 U.S. Articles of Confederation, which functioned as the constitution of the original 13 American states before it was replaced by the United States Constitution, stated that if Canada wanted to be admitted to the United States, it would be accepted automatically. To be fair, at that time, Canada basically just meant Quebec, but still. Number 37. Dolphins have been observed deliberately pricking themselves with pufferfish in order to get high, and have also been seen literally passing the puffers around to each other. What's dolphin but 420 blaze it? I imagine it's. The US state of Wisconsin has the same number of bars as California, yay! Despite having a population that's 85% smaller. This equates to one bar for every 1,862 Wisconsinites, compared to one for every 11,962 Californians. Go home, Wisconsin, you're making a scene. Number 39. Actor Martin Sheen is well known for his illustrious career, particularly his leading role in the critically acclaimed film Apocalypse Now. He is less well known, though, for having been arrested 66 times, mainly for protesting and other forms of civil disobedience. Number 40. When Adam Savage, the co-host of the popular science show Mythbusters, was asked about the worst behind-the-scenes disaster the show has ever experienced, he explained that at one point they were once investigating a myth surrounding an easily available material which was supposed to be highly explosive in certain circumstances. What they found was so explosive that they decided to destroy all the footage and agreed never to talk about what they had learned. He described the incident as absolutely terrifying. Number 41. In 1998, Venus and Serena Williams issued a challenge to any male tennis player ranked below 200 in the world, stating their belief that they could easily beat such a man. A German player of the name of Carsten Brush, ranked 203 at the time, promptly beat both of them after playing a round of golf and knocking back a couple of shandies. Granted, the Williams sisters were 16 and 17 at the time, so hopefully they learned a lesson about a little something called hubris. The meaning of life. The British soap opera Coronation Street first aired in 1960 and is still running, making it the longest running soap opera in television history. The show has aired over 9,300 episodes and is still going strong. Number 43. Due to the comparatively tiny number of people who call the dramatic craggy island of Iceland their home, amorous Icelanders have a special app to detect whether or not the person they are interested in is a relative. Number 44. The decision to ground every single plane in the US on September the 11th was made by one person, a guy by the name of Ben Sliney, who was one of the Federal Aviation Administration's National Operations Managers. The 11th of September 2001 also happened to be his very first day in that position. Number 45. Over the course of its 10 seasons, the cast of Friends earned over $88 million each. I want to be happy for them, but I ju for that I just hate them. I do. I hate the entire Friends cast for that. <laughs> uh, I'm just kidding. Number 46. You may remember the iconic scene in the short Egg Redemption when Andy Adley drags himself through 500 yards of human effluent for freedom. Well, in reality, the journey wasn't all that unpleasant for Tim Robbins, as he was actually crawling through chocolate syrup. Apparently, the tunnel where it was filmed still smells like chocolate to this day. Number 47. Phyllis Smith, who portrayed the character of Phyllis on the American adaptation of The Office, didn't actually audition for the part. She was originally just working as a casting associate on the show, but the director was so enamored by her demeanor, he offered her a role, playing the character with the same name. Number 48. The average person has less than two legs. If you're sitting there thinking, uh, no they don't, you fat space moron, yes they do. Allow me to explain. Since most people have two legs, but far more people only have one leg or no legs than people who have actually more than two legs, the number of legs that the average person has is actually less than two. Only slightly low, like 1.99999 or something. Number 49. Popeye has four nephews. 
Their names are Popeye, Pippi, Peepi, and unfortunately, Poopi. I'm sorry, Poopi, that's gonna be. I mean, you're gonna be bullied anyway because Popeye's your uncle, but. Number 50. When Sacha Baron Cohen released Borat in 2006, a lot of people in Kazakhstan were not happy about how it portrayed them all as backwards and incestuous morons. And in fact, the country's foreign ministry threatened to sue. However, in the years after the film was released, Kazakhstan experienced an explosion in tourism. My god, that sentence is going badly. The Borat effect was so profound that in 2012, Kazakhstan's foreign minister thanked Sacha Baron Cohen after the country saw a tenfold increase in issued visas. Number 51. The reason why Sesame Street's Count on Count is a vampire who needs to count things is because it was traditional belief in European folklore that vampires were obsessive compulsives, who were obsessed with details of counting things and, you know, eating pale women. Number 52. There was once a German architect named Hermann Sorgel, who devoted his entire life to promoting the idea that the Mediterranean Sea should be dammed and drained, creating vast amounts of vulnerable land that would also unite Europe and Africa into one supercontinent called Atlantropa. As you already may have noticed, his plans were never realised, and the Mediterranean remains a vast body of water only a lunatic could imagine eliminating. Number 53. The vast, vast majority of Europeans and much of the rest of the world enjoy the sweet, tangy flavour of black currant, usually in the form of a drink. However, it may surprise our American and non-American viewers alike to know that most Americans have never tasted black currant, and it was banned in the US in the 1900s because of the past role in spreading disease among white pines. That's all I got for you guys. My camera is almost dead.